I know what the commercial says, but the special orders do upset us. You found it, that one great fast food menu item that you love, and then it vanishes into thin air. This has happened more times than we can count, so let's take a look at the 10 discontinued Burger King items we want brought back now. All this chicken and king talk swelling around out there. Cupcake shake. Yummy. Imagine it, a nine-year-old cupcake-themed birthday party. Oh no, someone forgot to bring the guest of honor, the cupcakes. It's summer and the sun is beating down harshly. If you don't act soon, you're going to be overcome with a horde of hangry children. Whatever shall you do? Okay, we're trapped, everyone for himself! Well, if it were still 2009, you could pop down to Burger King and order a huge batch of cupcake shakes stat. This frothy refreshment is perfect for someone's birthday or to brighten someone's day, as it was a yellow cake flavored milkshake topped with whipped cream and sprinkles. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. The cupcake shake definitely lives up to its name. This refreshing beverage tastes like vanilla cupcakes with a slight hint of eggnog. Though the whipped cream and sprinkles don't add much for the taste, they're definitely a welcome addition, giving a Katy Perry-esque feeling to the dish. While it was high in saturated fat and sugar, this sweet treat was perfect for anyone who's in the mood for festivities. Unfortunately, the cupcake shake has been discontinued, but seeing as Burger King has the habit of returning beloved discontinued items, there's still a chance of it making a comeback. Chicken tenders. Are those chicken tenders made with white meat? Slippery slope, slippery slope. <laughs> These chicken tenders are a classic. Crispy on the outside, nice and juicy on the inside. They were adored amongst the Burger King demographic, but they were eventually discontinued in order to make room for the more McDonald's-like chicken nuggets. In 2018, the Facebook page Bring Back Burger King's Chicken Tenders gained thousands of likes, as well as multitudes of angry Burger King fans demanding that they bring back this favorite. In 2018, the burger joint brought back chicken tenders, much to the joy of the general public. Here's where it gets weird, though. Burger King created a short commercial in which an interviewer goes around asking people what their opinion on Burger King's crispy chicken tenders are. These questions are met with standard replies. Great texture, juicy on the inside, crispy on the outside, I had some yesterday and they were great. The catch is... These haven't existed on the menu. His words are met with all types of confusion. I don't know why you would say that. In any case, people loved these, and while they were on the menu for a short amount of time, they soon disappeared again, perhaps into the alternate dimension. Burger shots. Oh, oh God. Uh, this is fantastic. You guys got to try oh this. My. A slider is an American term for a steam-grilled sandwich, typically two inches in length, made with a bun. Burger King first introduced these tiny burgers in the 2000s. This wasn't their first try at creating sliders. In the 1980s, they also tried it with burger bundles and burger buddies. All of these endeavors failed, and on multiple fronts. The burger patties were too small and kept falling through the broiler grates. They took way too long for employees to assemble, and they just didn't sell all that well. Available in 2008, the burger shots were sold in six packs and in two packs, and had the option of cheese or no cheese. But the cheese came at an extra cost. Is this a joke? These little sandwiches are packed together inside the box like kids on a bus off to their first ever camping trip, and it's very cute. These bite-sized versions of Burger King's burgers weren't that big of a hit, but they were certainly fun. These BK sliders checked off all these boxes. While they didn't stick around for long, these mini burgers will be well missed by the tiny food community. Tiniest little burger joint you ever saw, tucked between a taxidermist and a triple X bookstore. Enormous omelet sandwich. Wait up! You forgot your lunch. There was a time in history where fast food joints seemingly didn't care about nutritional value. Their only goal was to shock customers into buying more and more extremely unhealthy food. Burger King decided to release its enormous omelet sandwich in 2005. At the height of Bigger is Better and breakfast sandwiches, the release of this sandwich was perfectly timed. Eggs, cheese, bacon, gotta have bacon, sausage, all on a sesame seed roll. This sandwich had it all, and it only sold for $3.29. So you can eat like a pig, 
The commercial for this product features two 1920s-inspired flappers and a man being attacked by someone in a bear costume, which is an interesting combination, but we do have to give them points for creativity. While some may find the idea of consuming such a huge sandwich sickening, the enormous omelet sandwich actually did pretty well at first. But like many things, after customers realized how unhealthy it was, the sales died down. Are you okay? I'm not okay, all right, I'm losing my mind a little bit. Turkey burger. What do you got there? Turkey burgers. In 2013, Burger King made history when they released their turkey burger. While it wasn't the first fast food chain to do so, Hardee's and Carl's Jr. beat them to it, it was the biggest chain to start catering to their more health-conscious consumers. The decision to release a turkey burger came from concerns of customers in their 20s and 30s who were decidedly more concerned about the type of food they were putting into their bodies than past generations. Compared to the Whopper, the turkey burger looks great, containing less calories and less fat, although it did have a little more overall sodium. Mm, I love this burger, so delicious. However, when compared to Burger King's Chicken Burgers, which was lower on all counts except sodium, the promise of a healthier burger fell a little flat. Customers were quite satisfied with the turkey burger because it made them feel healthier, was generally satisfying to eat, and it changed things up a bit. However, that wasn't enough to keep them on the menu, and though the burger sold relatively well, Burger King discontinued them. He can have a turkey burger. There's no such thing as a turkey burger. Donut holes. Mmm, donut. Traditionally, donut holes are from the middle of a donut. The hole in the donut was invented by Captain Hanson Gregory, and there's even a plaque in Rockport, Maine, commemorating this achievement. Somewhere along the way, someone decided to take the concept of the donut hole up a notch and create tiny, bite-sized donuts. And the public fell in love with them. These cute, circular, bite-sized donuts are the perfect way to satisfy your donut cravings without downing a thousand calories. Tim Hortons and Dunkin' Donuts have been the gods of donut holes for as long as anyone can remember. I'm God. But in an attempt to compete with them, Burger King released their donut holes in 2013. These sweetly glazed, deep-fried orbs were the perfect way to start any day, especially with a cup of hot coffee. These yeasty donut holes were lightly glazed and came, usually stuck together, in packs of five for the low, low price of $1.49. Though they were certainly fun, they didn't come in much variety, with no alternative toppings or glazes to speak of. Maybe it's because of this lack of variety that they didn't sell all that well, and Burger King eventually threw in the towel and discontinued them. We see the donut hole has a hole in its center. It is not a donut hole. Western Whopper. It's so Western that I feel like buying a pickup truck and singing cowboy songs in a country and Western bar. In the late 90s, Burger King released their Western Whopper. The Western Whopper was a regular Whopper burger with the addition of bacon and smoky barbecue sauce, and it was mouthwateringly delicious. The ad for this burger was particularly strange in that it was supposed to help you grow a mustache somehow. You're not a real blonde? This burger was released over two decades ago, so maybe it made a little bit more sense back then. The commercial starts out with a young boy eating the Western Whopper in his bathroom and then admiring his rad stash in the mirror. A sultry voice tells us to feed that mustache, son, and then it cuts to the Burger King himself doing a little jig to a banjo riff. While it's certainly a strange approach to have everyone, from young men to elderly women to dogs, growing mustaches, Burger King fans were there for it. We would most definitely feed that mustache if Burger King hadn't taken the Western Whopper off the menu. Only one Whopper gets busy in this house. Any and all tater tots. Are you gonna eat your tots? No. Made from grated cheese and deep-fried potato, tater tots are the childhood favorite of many, many people. Burger King actually had these on their menu for quite some time, but for some ungodly reason, in 2009, Burger King decided to take these cherished bite-sized snacks off their menu. Why, BK, why? <laughs> 
Much like with the Burger King chicken tenders, people revolted. Another Facebook page was published, this time called Bring Back the Cheesy Tots from Burger King. In October 2018, they got their wish, and Burger King released their bacon cheesy tots, bite-sized pockets of deliciousness filled with cheese and bacon bits. Though not the healthiest option, this was great for anyone with a late-night craving for something salty, yummy, and cheap. And much like a turbulent lover, these tots just keep coming back to us. While they were only around for a limited amount of time in 2018, a year later, in October of 2019, Burger King announced that it would be bringing back their cheesy tots once again for a limited time offer. While these tots never stick around for long, it only makes the customers appreciate them just that bit more. They're definitely something to look forward to, and something to try out the next time they're in stock. Give me some of your tots. No, go find your own. Cine minis. You had warm cinnamon buns over there, right? Would yes, you give sir. me one of those, please? Sure. In fact, get me two of them. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. In 1998, Burger King tried to take it to Cinnabon by releasing Cine Minis. These miniature cinnamon buns were the height of luxury. Gooey, sugary, and tasty, a triple threat. Surprisingly, this idea worked extremely well. These breakfast items were a huge hit amongst Burger King fans and went on to become a nostalgic snack food for 90s kids everywhere. On top of all that, they were only 99 cents. Whoa! Unfortunately, in the late 2000s, they were discontinued, and they fell away into Burger King history. The people weren't having it, though. Over the coming years, multiple petitions were started in an attempt to bring back Cine Minis. And it seems fast food fans are a demanding bunch. Yeah, no, okay. That's what I want to have, please. Thank you. In December of 2018, they won, reminding us that together we really can do anything. As part of a deal with Grubhub, these childhood treats were sold in four packs for $1.49. For a limited time, of course. A great price for an equally great food item. All good things must come to an end, though, and when Burger King ran out of these bite-sized delicacies, they were no more. Whisked away once more into the past, never to be cherished again. I've been eating Cinnabon for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the past six months. Burger King ribs. Did somebody say baby back ribs? Mm -hmm. In 2010, Burger King added ribs to their menu as a limited time promotion, and the reaction it got was hugely unexpected. Sold for $8.99 for an eight piece, customers flocked to get a taste of Burger King ribs. Those who underestimated the quality of Burger King's food were in for a surprise. These ribs were actual pork, the tips of pork short ribs, with no artificial taste to speak of. Now let's talk flying pigs. The commercial for the promotion features a slightly horrifying, slightly endearing, half human, half pig man with wings approaching a regular human man in a car, telling him to just try them because they're really good. We're not going to think about the horror that is a pig telling us to eat his brethren because they are really good. But who doesn't love some good quality ribs with delicious barbecue sauce to match? In fact, the ribs were so popular that the burger chain sold 10 million of them within a month, and so well beloved that the promotion had to end a week early because they ran out. Who would have thought that Burger King would create such yummy ribs? In any case, they really hit it out of the park with this one, and we hope that these make a comeback sooner rather than later, because these are sorely missed. I'll be back. Stay right here and tap on another one of our great videos, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.